was a rich man lived in the town. And he was a man of a high renown. He had one daughter, a beauty bride, and the name he called her was his heart's delight. There was many rich, large court in her came, but none of them could her favor gain. And there came a young man of a low degree, and above them all oh, she fancied he. And when her father came this to know, oh, that she had loved this young man so, oh, many miles he sent her away, for to detain her on her wedding day. And one night as she he was for her bed bound, as she was taking off her gown, she heard the voice of a deadly sound, saying, break the bond, the love that we have bound. And her mother's man, till she knew right well, and her, her father's deed she could plainly tell. She rich, dressed herself in a rich attire, and uh, now she's off with her heart's desire. And he said, my darling, get on behind, and the road more swifter than any wine, and for half an hour or a little more. And he said, my darling, my head's going sore. And a white holland handkerchief she then pulled out, and with it wrapped his head about. She kissed his lips and those words did say, Oh, my love, you're colder than any clay. Then when they came to her father's gate, uh, Lie down, my darling, lie down and rest. Oh, lie down, darling, and go to bed, and I'll see your horse in the stable bed. Then, early next morning, a flimsus made a rose. Unto the churchyard she quickly goes, and although her true love was then nine months dead, her white holland handkerchief was tied around his head. Ah, woe to all its parents, I will say still, that hinders young people from their will. For once their vows and their love they give, you can never part to them while they're the living. Oh, God, how could I tell? It's hard to believe in. He had died in the meantime, and then his ghost came after her and took her home. Well, when you said uh, one. When they came to her father's hall, and he was feeling so bad, did you say his father's hall? Her father, when they came to her father's hall. I thought they left that place. Huh? I thought she ran away from her father's hall. Well, she, the father sent her away, you know, in the first place, for her to detain her on her wedding day. See? And then the young man died. 
then the young man died. Of course, that doesn't come into the song at all, but then his ghost appears. Then one night, as she was for her bed bound, and she heard that voice of a deadly sound saying, Break the bonds, love, that we have bound. Now, I, I know a case of that. He doesn't know whether he, he didn't know before that he was dead. No, no, she didn't know a thing about that case. But she was many miles away, probably hundreds of miles away, and of course the horse back then they were charging. But I know the case right here on this island. If a girl that is married to a fella and was dying, and she was engaged that fella, and, and his father said to him he wanted to break that bond that they had made. I don't know how much is true that. No, no. But it seems that that was an old Irish tradition that. What does it mean to break the bond? To break that engagement. Of course, they called it a bond. Break that bond, love, and we have bound. 